After the Lakers' disappointing season, not making the playoffs, LeBron is making it very clear he wants to improve his game by getting to the free throw line more. In his exit interview following the season's conclusion, LeBron said, quote, I want to figure out how to trick the refs. I need to figure it out. I'm in the top of the leaderboard and field goals in the restricted area, things of that nature, and I'm in like the bottom tier of free throws per game. Hmm, Shannon, all right, here you go. Are the refs no longer respecting LeBron the way they should? Well, they're definitely not giving him the calls that he deserves. Uh, yeah, and I would go as far as to say, Jim, Jen, yes, he is not getting or no, he isn't getting the respect that he rightfully deserves. Skip, when you look at it, LeBron James was second in the NBA with nine shots in the restricted area per game. That was only behind Giannis. Giannis shoots 11 free throws a game. LeBron shoots six per game. What, what am I missing? And he's, uh, he shot his best free throw percent, uh, best uh, percent from the free throw line since 2011-2012. He shot almost 76%. So he realized, Skip, those are some cheap points. Because, you, Skip, you, you never know when the wheels are going to come out this thing. I believe LeBron James is going to be able to hold it together for at least another two years. But he realizes there are some points that he could have gotten had, they been, had he been given the calls like some of these other guys are getting. And, he's, and he said it in the exit interview, uh, Skip, that there was once upon a time his pre-Miami days in which he got calls. And so I, I do believe that the, 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 the level of respect that LeBron once received is no longer there. Because you look at how much that, Skip, you talk about this. Nobody plays bully ball like he does. And you see him getting to the rim and getting to the rim. But he's not getting rewarded with the calls or the and ones like we see some of the other guys that doesn't get to the rim as much, but they get more so with the calls than he does. So I would agree with LeBron. LeBron, I don't know how we're going to trick him, but we got to trick him somehow to make him think there's some fouls called. Go, go to James Harden school. Go to Embi Embiid school, because they do a great job of chicken them. So help me out here. Why would a man want to shoot more free throws when he's such a lousy free throw shooter in the first place? Why would because you... Because easy points. Easy points. They are called free throws. And That's right, and we want them. What I hoped I would hear in LeBron's exit interview the other day was... I'm going to dedicate myself to shooting 1,000 free throws a day in the offseason, and I'm going to come back a much improved free throw shooter because he has always been, by his standards, you call him the GOAT, he's been yeah. a pathetic free throw shooter. And the irony is, if we just look at this past year, if you go back the previous five years, over those five, he had averaged from the free throw line 69.3%. Yes. That is all-time bad for a player of LeBron's magnitude for a, quote-unquote, best player on the planet during those years. Then last year, he stumbled into this new routine, which I lauded and applauded it, but it's big, deep <laughs> breath, one big dribble, let it fly. Don't overthink it. Don't get caught up in it. Don't do five dribbles. Don't get shaky-handed. Just let it go. And he improved all the way up to, you ready for this, 75.6%. You ready for this? 76. Huh? 76. 75.6%. That ranked 86th <laughs> of 112 qualified free throw shooters. 86. That means you're in the bottom one-fourth of the league even after you dramatically improved last year. Bottom line to this, the refs know what you do. The refs are uh, just keenly aware, acutely aware, that James Harden will make his free throws. And they will reward him with the foul call to a fault, certainly in past years, because they know he'll go right to the free throw line and swish both of them because he earned the right to do that, and then he cashes the right. Skip right? Bayless, I would, I would hope that official would, would not say, you know what, that's not pass interference because Shannon Sharp wasn't going to catch the ball anyway. What kind of bull job is that? It's Did a reputation or call <laughs> or not call. And LeBron has a <laughs> reputation among referees of being a sorry free throw shooter. Even Look this here. past year. So LeBron was at 75.6. Steph, regular season, this past regular season, shot 92.3. 92. That was second. 
Uh, Jordan Poole won. By the way, Jordan Poole won it with 92.5. And by the way, yeah. my man Kevin Durant was third in the league at 91.0. Wow. Yes. You're kidding. Yeah, they're, James Harden yeah, was at 87.7. LeBron at 75.6. Yeah, Skip. I'm sorry. They're better. They're better free throw shooters than LeBron. Skip, they're not going to get, they're not, look, they're not going to, Michael Jordan could not shoot the three like Steph. He didn't shoot free throws like Kevin Durant. God is not going to give an athlete every single thing. You want him to have the athleticism, the mid-range game, shoot the three like Steph, shoot the free throw like Kevin Durant. Really? Come on, Skip. Shannon, free throws are not God-given. They're man-made especially but for I'm... a LeBron James who shoots so many three-point shots and he's got that wicked fadeaway. Just you go shoot them until you can make them. A again, for him, he's got demons in his psyche. It's, it's like well, Ben Simmons-esque at the end of the game. Yeah. And guess what next year we're going to do, Skip Baylor? We bumped it up this year. We going all the way up to 77, 78%. You want to put some dew on that right now? <laughs> you, you plunged out to the end of the limb with 77% when he shot 76, I'm sorry, 75.6. So he's already at 76. So you say he's going to tick up 1%? I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to 78%. Okay. I'm going to 78%. Have the courage of your convictions and go to 80. If you want to go to 80, Skip. I'll do 10 cases right Skip. now. Skip, Skip, the man is, hello, he's never shot 80% in his career. So you expect him to have a career year from the free throw line in year 20. Well, he doesn't have anything else to do this offseason. He's not playing basketball. Right, go, Maybe he could practice his free throws. He's got a hoop go. in his backyard. <laughs> he could go out there with Bronny and get Bronny to rebound for him. Shoot, could you at least shoot 100 a day? You could afford to pay somebody to come rebound for you and shoot a thousand a day. You could come back and make eighty percent next year if that's what you so chose. You said over the last five years he went from average of sixty nine point three yep. to seventy five point six. He did. So that's a six percent increase. Wow. So you know what, Skip? I go to I go. You know what? I go seventy nine. That's the best I do. Give me give me seventy nine. I go seventy nine right now for, for five cases. Five cases, seventy nine percent done. Thank you very much. I got it. I got it. You'll now Yo, owe me you 105 this. cases. You see that go? Write down in yeah. ink, guys. Yep. In the backyard Thank you. right now. All Bingo. Right. Coming up, gentlemen, I need to know if you think John Morant has competition <laughs> as the future face of the NBA.